Hi and welcome to Hands-On Education. This video is about seed dispersal. What is seed dispersal? Let's find out. Many plants produce seeds which grow into new plants. These can come in many different shapes and sizes. Seed dispersal refers to the movement of the seed away from the parent plant. But why do seeds need to move away from the parent plant? It is important that plants disperse their seeds so that they do not need to compete for resources with the parent plants. Seed dispersal increases their chances of survival. This includes competition for space, water and sunlight. So how do plants disperse their seeds? Some plants rely on the wind to blow their seeds away from the parent plant, like the dandelion seed. Some plants, like a sycamore tree, produce winged seeds. These spin and whirl in the air, relying on the wind to carry them away. Some seeds rely on gravity to pull them down. When this horse chestnut lands, its outer shell breaks, revealing the seed inside. Some seeds, like burdock seeds, are sticky or have little hooks which attach themselves to fur. The animals unknowingly carry them away, providing the seeds with a chance to grow away from the parent plant. Some seeds are eaten by animals, like a bird eating a sunflower seed. Later, when the animal leaves are dropping, an undigested seed may fall into the perfect place for the seed to grow. Some seeds may fall into a river, pond or lake, relying on the water to carry them to another place far away from the parent plant. Some plants use force to push their seeds as far away as possible, like the jewelweed. At the smallest touch, the seed pod bursts open, pushing the seeds through the air. And now we know that plants can disperse their seeds in many different ways. Some relying on the wind to carry their seed far away. Some relying on gravity. Some seeds are designed to attach themselves to animal fur and some are eaten by animals. Some seeds rely on the water and some use force to push their seeds far away. For your hands on activity, go on a nature walk and observe the seeds around you. Think about how different plants disperse their seeds. Look for clues like where you found the seed and how the seed is designed. Sort images of seeds into groups to show the different ways plants disperse their seeds. For more information about this activity and more activities related to plants, please go to handsoneducation.com, Year 3, Seeds and Life Cycles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye.